Hey everyone, Zivris here, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Dark Souls 3 Collector's Edition. I haven't looked at anything in it yet, and also I have the Dark Souls 3 uh, Official Collector's Edition Strategy Guide hardcover, because I have the other two hardcover as well. And I have the Collector's Edition for Dark Souls 2, but I didn't actually get everything in the Collector's Edition for number one, besides the hard case, the soundtrack, and the art book. So I have it, but I don't. And this is the Red Pop, the Red Knight Pop figure for Dark Souls 3, the only one that's out at the moment. But here we go, I'll open it up. And let's get started. Well, first of all, here's what the front looks like. It has a really cool decal and looks really nice. It's a nice box to keep. In the back it shows everything that you're going to get. The statue, the discs, the hardcover, and any type of book that's inside the art of the art of the Dark Souls. Okay, let's open it up. Click on the side and order. We have the small the art book. The, the art book looks a lot nicer than the other two. It looks like an official book. Hardcover, really nice uh, picture quality. Looks like it has a lot of the original Dark Souls art in it, along with some of Dark Souls 2, and I'm sure Dark Souls 3. Yeah, the art, it's, it's the trilogy. It's all the art books put together. I did not know that. I have not read anything on what is actually in here besides the statue and what I would assume that is in here. Oh, and on the side we have the game. It is the game case, then some some thin plastic. Uh, it feels actually pretty thin, not too great a quality, but looks nice. And it's not like you're going to be beating the crap out of it, so it's nice. But here's what the front looks like. A nice uh, detail there. It says Dark Souls three on it, and a picture of the Red Knight that you see from the trailers and that the pop figure is modeled after. Open it up. No game inside, no manual, just uh, shiny. So we gotta find our game. And it is right here. All right, so it's got a sleeve. It's got the collector's edition cover to it. Day one edition, take off the sleeve. We got the same cover, and it's in plastic. I'll open that up in a minute. But first, let's see what else we got. Uh, we have a map. I remember getting one of these for Dark Souls 2 as well. A cloth map. Not poster quality. Let's see. Pretty nice, goes a, goes a long way rather than uh, horizontally. Pretty nice, I'm not sure what it's exactly showing. It's showing a castle, uh, looks like an eclipse sun maybe. And I'm not sure, just different places along the way that we're going to be visiting. Let's pull that up. Okay, anything else in the side pocket? Uh, nope. Okay, let's move on to the big box. Put that back here. Sorry about all the noise. Here we go, our statue comes in the two pieces of plastic there. And his two swords are separate in the plastic. The stand is connected to them automatically. Let's play this down and get it open. Brace your ear. Right. Oh, 
I feel something underneath it. Uh, it looks like we have the, the manual on how to put it together, which really just looks like you put the swords in. Okay, we got the statue put together. We got the swords in the right place. And I'll do a close up of it. Let's hope it focuses a bit. It's really nice quality, not too heavy. A pound or two, a couple more, I don't know. But really nice, recommended if you can find it somewhere that hasn't sold out of them. The bottom is a nice cloth with the Bandai logo entertainment. And it seems pretty sturdy. It, I like it a lot better than the last statue for the Dark Souls 2 Collector's Edition. But now we move on to opening the game. Actually, so give me a moment. I got the plastic off. And it's the same thing, same picture as the sleeve that was on it. That is right here. That goes on. I'll probably be keeping that on most of the time, but I might be using the hard case. So yes, you get two cases. And here we are. Now in it you get the manual, you get a little slip that tells you about the strategy guide that I'll be going over next. Not important there. You get a cool picture that looks like maybe a preview of a boss on the back of the manual. On the left you have the soundtrack, on the right you have your game. And that's everything to do with that. Okay, let's move on to the strategy guide that I took the plastic off already. With the strategy guide, you get everything you need to know about the game, where the weapons are, where the armor is, what strategies to do on certain bosses, but I will not open it and read it until I beat the game at least once. And then I will go around, find all the weapons, find all the armor, not really read anything about the strategy on how to kill anything. Well, that's what that is. And it also came with this nice little journal. It has the Mark of the Undead on the cover with nothing on the back, nothing on the side. When you open it on the first page, it says Ashen One with, I'm guessing you can put your name right here. It's kind of hard to see, but it has what the same picture as the map on it. And then it just has places for you to write all the way through it with a little bonfire symbol on the bottom right. So if you really want to, you could use it for notes in the game, uh, use it for school, a diary if you do that. One blank page in the back. But overall it's really cool. I did not think that this would come with it. The front feels uh, like a like a soft, a soft material. It's hard cover, but the soft material like a leather. The same thing as the strategy guide itself. And you get the, this code to get uh, the strategy guide to put on your mobile if you so desire to want that. And with the strategy guide, you also get a GameStop exclusive paper fold model. Is it in the book? Maybe I will have to open the book. Yep. The last page of the book is the paper fold model. And I will do that really quick. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, it took a while, but I finally got it together and it looks pretty nice. Um, it's actually sort of difficult. One of the directions shows you putting it in upside down and then later is corrected. But overall, very nice. Not really the reason you should buy the strategy guide, but a nice bonus to put somewhere on a table or in the background, anywhere. And that is the strategy guide, but since I pre-ordered this from GameStop, I also got this nice keychain to put on my keys. Try to get a close-up of that. It is of a bonfire. That seems to be the theme of Dark Souls 3 merchandise at the moment. And here is all the cutouts that you had to do, fold and whatnot for that bonfire stand. Let's open this up though so I can get a better look. All right, this one is definitely 
good metal. You can't really wear it since it uh, is already just one color of metal, so it would just wear to more metal. But looks nice overall, and I'm happy with it. So that's my unboxing. Everything looks really nice. I would definitely recommend getting one if you can. If you're interested in watching me play Dark Souls, my playthrough will be on this channel. So uh, if it's been a while since the game come out, came out, uh, check my other videos. And if you're watching this the day of the release, then I should probably have one one episode out right now. So subscribe and I'll bring them out one to two every day. Other than that, I'll see you next time or during the playthrough. And I'll catch you later. See ya.